Hey everybody, it's GliderCat and it is time, time to play. We are back in Farming Simulator 22. Last episode, let me shut the garage here, turn off my light. Where's the light in here? Over here. Can I do it? Oh, maybe it is off. Anyway, last episode, we discovered that there was a field ready for us to harvest. Let's take a look at that. It is field number one, the only field that we own right now. And we verified that it was soybeans, right? Let's get on that this episode and see how much we can get done, get turned over. I'm going to take the pickup down to the main farm. Head on down. And we'll get out our combine first, I guess. Just need to remember where it's at. Where is the combine? Is it in? Back out. There's our header. Hop out here. It must be in here, right? I think it is. There we go. Let's hop in. You know what? We might want to buy the washing thing. Let's see. Where would we want to put the power washer? Uh, where's kind of a central spot? Uh, maybe right on this corner. We could put the power washer. Let's buy one of those and find it. Miscellaneous, maybe? Or does it have its own category? Let's check miscellaneous first. I don't see it. Come back. I'm going to scroll right by it, so better go slow. Uh, winter equipment belt systems. Chainsaws, bale wrappers, balers, wind blowers, slurry tanks, sprayers. Not quite. Oh, where is it? If I had gone by it, it's got to be like something obvious, right? It's not going to be in the sprayers, I hope. <laughs> Right, these are for these are for the field. Here is the little power washer. A okay, miscellaneous. Winter belt systems, wheel loaders, telehanders, all these low loaders, headers, weights. I don't know. Did they get rid of it? I know there's a mods for these. I gotta think it would have been in that section. Oh man, that's a little frustrating. I don't want one of those. Definitely not that miscellaneous section. Well, maybe I need to download a mod for that. Very surprised. Yeah, very surprised it's not here in miscellaneous. Unless it's a placeable. Let's try placeable just for, just to be safe. Could be in here. Well, then it wouldn't be buildings, I don't think. Production. Factory selling points, greenhouses, orchards, generators, decoration, other. It's kind of a functional thing, right? Oh, there's our little tr tractor. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, I bet it's in here somewhere. Tools. There it is. Power washer. Jeez. All right. I'm just gotta get used to where new things are at. Let's do it. Let's pop it on the corner here. Kind of makes sense. Maybe there's a water hookup nearby. Boom. Cape out of that. 
escape out of this. Sorry for the delay there. Let's clean this guy off because it's just embarrassing riding through town with this thing. Although we should never be riding through town. Just the same. I would like this to be sprayed off. Maybe it will look better if we do it. We have to help remember how to use this R. Makes sense. Let's see if we can clean this off. Or if it is just permanently looking rough. Yeah, it's starting to look a little better. It's starting to look a lot better. I like it. Probably should have thrown the header on here before we did this. How's the car? Can we reach the car? Probably not. Deactivated. All right, we'll deal with that later. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, let's grab the header. Suppose we could spray this off just for OCD's sake, since we did the other part. Looking good, looking very good. I like it a lot better. Wow, that's a lot better. All right. How do we put down the sprayer just out of curiosity? Does it say... Boom. I guess I can just do that. All right, let's go head over to our field. Still getting familiar with the map here, so. Let's see, we need to go out this way and follow the river down. Top liner, the top liner. Deutz Spar, is that how you pronounce that? Probably not. That's fine. There is our field that will be soybeans. You know what? I'm going to have to run back to get our tractor and our trailer so we can offload the grain. We may put this on a helper while we go do that. We'll see. I think I'm probably going to need to maybe manually do a couple of headlands first. All this land off to the left, yeah, I want to make some kind of productive use of it. Thinking about, like I said a few episodes ago, maybe using that for just grassland. Mowing it for uh, silage. And then making a EMR or cow feed. Alright, here is our soybean field. gonna need to go run and get our uh, get our trailer. I imagine this harvester doesn't hold a ton. I don't think there's anything to do here as far as swath. But yeah, not available for this crop type. Alright, our first crop. Now we've probably got a bunch of stuff to do this field. Plowing and liming and all that stuff. And then eventually weeding. We may need to purchase another spreader for lime. I think we've got a spreader full of fertilizer. And we found out it was a little too late to fertilize by the time we, uh, we had this field or we took on this farm.
over time we might do a little more terraforming around here try not to uh ruin the beauty of the map but uh try and make as much utilization of the land as we can And these soybeans. I don't know if I've got a place to store these. I guess we'll try. We saw some silos. We'll see. Or grain bins. My plan here is probably to do a couple headland rows and then um, see if we can get a worker put on this. And then we'll go fetch that grain bin. And I may have to stop before we get the headlands done because we may end up with a full combine here. That's a tree that's probably going to get taken down. It's kind of close. Not expecting the best yield out of this field since it wasn't uh, fertilized. See if we can get a feel for the scale of this thing. It's not huge, but it's a decent sized field. Whoop. Not sure what happened there. A little oversteering on my part. trees there that we can move out of the way and maybe square off this field a little bit. Nice shot of the river here. And that water just looks awesome. Still early morning here, seven in the morning. Work in our field. We're gonna have a lot of work to do on this field, I think, this episode. I spend the entire episode on this field.
halfway done with the second row through. Then we'll put a worker on this. Next episode, we may, or between episodes, I think, I'm going to try to clear out that forestry section that we've been working on. And then hopefully within an episode or two here, we can retexture the ground over there to the forest texture. And then get some trees planted. So that'll be coming. And then if we can raise some money. I'd like to get that the Crone Big M mower and start working on that prairie that we just drove by on the way to this field and see if we can get that producing grass. We may decide to turn that into a real field and plant grass. That might make it a little easier to use workers if we want. And this is a 4x map. So depending on how long we play and how big we get, how far we grow the farm, how many fields we get and things, we're most likely going to want to leverage kind of automation and workers as much as we can. At some point, I'm going to drop in the course play mod and experiment with that. I believe, from what I hear, it's a little more flexible than the uh, AI driving mod that's built into the game. But hopefully, we can get a bunch of stuff going. It's going to take a while, though. We need to raise some cash. I guess this soybean crop, we could sell it. I guess we'll look at the pricing and see. Again, I think we're probably not getting the best yield on this crop. Just because it didn't have all the enhancements, the fertilization, probably didn't have plowing. This is our first time working it. So we'll see. We also need to make sure we've got equipment <laughs> <laughs> that we can farm with. I think we've got everything. I think we've got everything, but we'll see. I've got field stones turned off. I don't think we're going to mess with that. We'll keep the lime. We'll keep the weeding. If that gets to be a little too tedious, we could even turn those off. But with one field to work, it's not too bad. All right, let's see if we can just get a helper on this. Yep. All right, I'm going to just kind of tab over to our this guy our tractor here I'm gonna leave the forestry mulcher okay let's switch to that and see if they let us drop it boom our buckets I guess I can bring that uh, what should I do with that we were using that with a terrifier mod I'm gonna set that down over here probably forget about it and lose it that off and then let's get our larger trailer it's not that one around the corner here let's go grab that and head back to the farm we have managed to make some money on wood and we bought this industry oh look we're getting uh, pallets of cut wood there planks I suppose that's something we can sell or i believe we can deliver that to a carpentry building and maybe they'll make furniture for us we'll get to that at some point not this episode for sure Take a left here at the stop sign. We should be clear. We could give this tractor a wash. A much needed wash. Boy, inside and out it looks like. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to my driving. I almost smashed into somebody there. How are we doing on fuel? We're pretty low. We can pull into the, what well, looks like a Texaco station. That's not really an entrance, is it? Um, I'm going to wing it. It's 
Let's fill up on gas. It's going to cost a little bit of money, but we need it. Maintenance is low, too. I'm not sure if it's the wagon, or the trailer that we're pulling, or if it's the tractor itself. thought I repaired this tractor already, but maybe not. We can get around to that in at the farm, too. We've got a repair point or repair trigger, I think. All right, we're full up. 563. Don't ask me what that was all about. That <laughs> was not intended. Alright, here we go. One of those circular farms or circular fields off to the left here. Field three, we don't own that one yet, but we will. We'll stop by the power washer and just give it a spray. There's more I kind of want to take back and sell. I prefer to just jump straight to the big M since that's so convenient to use. Let's hop out here real quick and give it a spray. Looking pretty good. Looking very good. Nice. Like it. All right. Let's go collect some soybeans up if we can. That's a fuel storage tank we could be filling up at some point. Oops, wrong way. It's almost misty out. Still only quarter after seven in the morning. Again, I do need to get some repairs done on this tractor, it looks like. All right, where's our combine? Is that it straight ahead? I'm going to go to third person view here. Yeah, we could save this for animal feed as well, but I'm thinking maybe we sell this first crop or two. 
or split it. Sell half and keep half for animal feed. Not sure when we're going to get to purchase our first animals. Alright, that is just about full. Let's see. Maybe I will detach here. Let's go look at the farm and see if we've got a silo and then we'll also look at the field on the map and see if we need to plow and then maybe get that plow going over here. Here's some grass we cut with the original mower. Not much. All right, looks like I've got the ability to store grain. Now, I have not used these augers or conveyors or drills before, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning process. How to use those. We'll figure it out. If not, we'll just take it to a south point. And that looks like my unloader. I'm wondering, I'm guessing these are connected. Maybe not, though. We'll figure that out. Pretty sure we're going to need to grab our plow, too. Let's take a look at the field. See what the status is. I bet anything it needs plowing. Boom. Yeah, it looks like it, right? Is that the growth stage or is that weeds? Yeah, it needs plowing. I toggle these just so I can tell. Definitely need plowing. I don't know if we can put the lime on before plowing. Needs lime as well. Um, I don't know. Boy, it sure, we could try it. I think we will try that. In fact, we're gonna need to go get a spreader. I've got one here that's got fertilizer in it. But I'm kind of wondering if we can spread the lime and then plow that into the soil. We'll experiment and see if that's a thing we can do. Um, what do we have over here? As far as equipment. I thought I saw a big rusty plow. This looks like a cultivator cedar. Uh, we can look in the garage. Let's do that. Owned items. Okay, we've got a cedar and we've got a cultivator. We do, I don't see a plow on here. You, I don't. Let's look at this cedar. Will it tell us? Okay, this machine, this cedar offers the ability to see directly. I think we may need to plow. They've changed some of the rules and I think at Farming Simulator 22, of when you need to plow or which crops need it, which don't. Confess to not being up to speed with that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We have a tether, a windrower. No plow. Check our field. Yeah, we already did. It needs plowing. Should we go get a plow? I say I think we're going to need one no matter what. I mean, I can't imagine getting by without one. Let's take a look. Blouse. Uh, where would we want to start out? Cash is not bad. I mean, that's a loan. We're 500 grand in debt, but we've got some cash to spend. Hmm. These smaller ones are a little easier to use and just throw a helper on them. They're definitely easier to use with helpers. The big ones, in my experience, the helpers have a little bit of a trouble. This guy's only three and a half meters wide, two and a half meters wide. That's five meters wide, but it's one of these double ones. The other thing, we've got these subsoiler options now. I read about them. I have to read about these. Spaders, there's some new things I'm just not real familiar with. Let's start out with maybe this plow. Seems like a reasonable starter one. We will buy it. 
And then let's go let's go fetch that at the shop. In fact, we can take this mower back while we're at it. I believe you might be able to just sell us right here, but uh, we'll do it for immersion's sake. Head over to the dealer. That's cool. Looking <laughs> at these things kind of blowing in the wind. That's kind of funny. Little rubber rubber flaps there. An interesting looking animation. Like something under the sea. Yeah, I'd rather save up and get the uh, big M. Especially since this tractor doesn't have the front attachment for the... Um, that mower that goes in the front. This has got the attachment for the uh, kind of the forklifts and stuff. This road we could smooth out at some point too. Not too bad as long as I stay in the center. We could also upgrade this tractor and get a better motor in it. So we have more torque, more power. But cash is a little on the scare side, especially as we've got to buy some of this equipment here. We'll probably hold off on that. We'll stick with the configuration that we've got. And for too long, I'm sure we'll be getting a second tractor. into town still early morning Let's stop at the donut shop let's drop this off there's our plow over on the left Let's hop out, see what we can do. We need maintenance on the tractor as well. Uh, okay, condition and paint condition. Let's repair the tractor. It's a lot. I'm not going to paint it. The paint sure seems expensive. All right. Repair the tractor. Yeah, I'm going to bite the bullet on that. And then this guy we are going to sell. $825. Almost not worth it. We'll, we'll do it. It's not the one we want, so let's not mess with it grab our plow hit the donut shop and then head out I'm not joking about the donut shop but I could go for a donut oh oh no reason for that
This tractor only goes 30, what is it, 32 miles per hour. Be nice to get a JCB fast track or something, especially for these trips into town. Pick up implements and things a little quicker. We're fully gassed up. We got our maintenance all taken care of. We're in good shape on this tractor. It's been washed. The brand new plow. We will head over and maybe start plowing that field while it's being harvested by a worker. And then eventually maybe we can get a worker on the plow as well. This is a bumpy road. is a bumpy road <laughs> and the neighbors must think I'm crazy cleaner inside too since we sprayed it off back home got a couple things done there got rid of the old mower bought our plow and did a little maintenance on the tractor let's head down to our field and get to plowing so we can get this field turned over Switch over to the grain wagon here. Knock this guy down for now. Boom. And go empty our combine so this worker can keep going. Ooh, I thought I was attached. probably leave the plowing till next episode we're getting on to the end of this one but let's see if we can get this put into a grain bin and experiment with how that's going to work yeah we're not going to get the best yield out of this field but it's something we'll take it Crop destruction's turned off, so we don't have to worry about driving over the fields. I really like that irrigation line here. That looks really cool. I'm sure there's a name for that. I 
All right, now this could be fraught with peril, but I'm going to try it. Let's see how we can do this. I think we want to... Man, do I have to back up to this thing? <laughs> we may get new silos, modded silos, before too long. Let's see if I can make this, figure this out at all. How are we doing? Not bad, actually. All right, let me bring up the help. Put the tip side to the grain door, I'm guessing. Right, the grain door. And then we dump on this thing. Let's see, do I have to turn it on? No, we can climb into this. I think. It needs repair. Where do I hop in? Here. All right, where do my controls? Unload here, change cruise control, toggle map view. I don't see like a power on, power off kind of thing. So let's, uh, let's hop out. Oops, what did I do? That's lights. Hop out of that. Let's try and dump and see what we get. I'm not, I don't know what to expect here. I'm gonna have to, okay, start overloading, I. Is that going into our grain bin? <laughs> I gotta think it is, right? I don't see it piling up on the ground. Uh, it's a little precarious not knowing exactly what's happening. I gotta think that's making its way up there. I wish there was some animation or smoke or something. Or even grain coming out the top. Yeah, and I'm just learning how to do it. Okay, maybe that's full and we have to empty it. Just out of... Uh, hmm. Unload here. I maybe? Control I? Let's see what this does. Just stop unloading. Let's hop out. It sounds like it's working. Let's hop in and do more unloading. Start overloading. Just wish I saw something confirming what was actually happening. I don't see anything coming out, right? Our trailer is not actually dumping. I mean, visually, it looks like it's dumping, but when I look at the indicator of how full it is, it's not changing. Let's hop out of this. Does this thing need to be wiggled about? Sounds like it's on. Set to unload and move this. Okay, let me hop out. A hey, flat bottom bin, soybeans, 93, 93 liters. 93 liters. Still have 2,000 liters in my trailer here. Sure. 
may have to look at this between episodes and familiarize myself with these grain bins and how they work. I'm just not quite sure. Unless that grain bin is full. It's... I want to unhook for a second here. Okay, yeah, the... The little trailer here needs maintenance. Are these connected up? They are. Nothing's happening. Do I have to turn it on? Hmm, probably do. I'm not super keen on these. I'm sure it's more realistic. This silo is empty. Yeah, this might be a bit more than I want to get into. But let's just uh, try it. Hop over to this bin and just see if this has grain in it. It's cool in a way. It's very realistic. But I kind of want to go for a little bit more arcadey and fast approach than uh, than pure realism. Hop out this way a little bit. Okay. Can't tell. That looks like it's pretty much underneath there. Let's uh, do start filling. Okay, select the content you want. Let's do soybeans. Start. Hop out of here. Hop into our actor. Pull in and see if we get soybeans out of here. Yes, we do. Okay. That side's not so bad. Uh, let's... Now what happens? Is this thing... Soybeans, 4,000 liters. Stop filling R. Oops. Get back in our tractor. Does it hold on to like those 4,000 liters in the kind of auger itself? Looks like it might, right? We might have to drain this out. Yeah, we do. Then the last thing I wanted to see is if I could figure out the capacity of these guys. Okay, there's 4,700 liters in there. Flat bottom bin. Okay, it's showing me the two bins. I see. Uh, this guy. Start feeling R. Does it show me the capacity of this thing? It doesn't. Anyway, kind of cool. I'm not a super huge fan. Um, of, like I said, going the full realism. I kind of want to move quick and scale up fast. But this is very innovative and very, very realistic. It does look cool. I just don't want to take the time. So I'm probably going to look for some other silos, maybe even between episodes that we can pop down and do quick. Kind of just swing on up and dump and swing on up and swing on by and pick up more beans. For crops that we want to sell, but not bad. I think what we'll do, I think we'll wrap this episode here. Um... And then when we come back, maybe I've got new silos and we can start plowing uh, our field or get to doing that. Probably have the combine finish up between episodes, have our helper finish up. In fact, I'll go grab another 
One last little batch of beans. We're only 36% full on our trailer. Not a huge field. We will plow, and then I guess we were talking about maybe putting lime down before plowing. Maybe I can research that between episodes two and see if that's a thing. But we may want to spread some lime, in which case we'll need to go get a spreader. We'll do that probably on camera. Get another spreader. Purchase some lime. We can drain this guy here for now. I'll empty out this. That's it for now. All right. Yeah, let's wrap this episode here for now. This is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to GladderCat subscribers, GladderCat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Also, thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up. Farming Simulator never seems to do real well on my channel, but it's a game that I really enjoy. So you can expect to see some more episodes here. And I really like this map. Again, this is Elk Mountain, Wyoming. There's some links in the description. You want to learn more about it very very cool i'll see you all in the next episode